Catch it, Brent. Oh, man, away. The Byron football team has some unfinished business to attend to this year. Last year, the number one seed Bears lost to in the section semifinals to Lourd, thus ending their undefeated season. This fall, head coach John Austinson has enough talent to make another run. With seven returning starters back, he has his quarterback, Bryce Fogelson, returning, who passed for 1,900 yards and 24 touchdowns. His main target will be big tight end Matt Storley, but Byron lost running back Adam Schrader, so they'll have a new backfield and the Bears aren't all that big. Their size is young, but they do have decent team speed, which will make up for that lack of size. Also, in the back of their minds, that loss to Lourd in the sections has this club with a little chip on their shoulder. Yeah, they're kind of upset. I mean, we would have liked to play Plainview in that section final. Don't know if we would have beat them, but we would have loved to play them. It would have been at our home, but uh, Lourd took it to us, and you know, and so we're we're still hurting over that a little bit. So yeah, we want looking for a little motivation. We move into the Blue Conference, so we'll add Lake City and Cannon Falls to our uh, schedule, and then also we'll get back at Lourdes if we can. Your impressions on how you guys ended last season and how that's kind of carried over to this year? Well, that's that's definitely lingering inside of us, and we want to avenge that a little bit, as per se. And uh, we're just waiting for no one to want to play them first, and just go game by game. Like Coach said, Byron no longer plays in the gold division of the HVL. They are now in the blue with Cass and Manaville, Stuartville, Lake City, Cannon Falls, and Exit. Lourdes. The Bears have one of the top weapons in the area in QB, Bryce Fogelson. Last year, the senior threw for 2,000 yards and 24 touchdowns, giving Byron a solid start on offense. I think we'll be able to throw the ball. Um, we have a good solid line coming parts of it coming back with quickness and I think we you know we're gonna be more pass but I think we're gonna be able to control the ball and control the line of scrimmage. The Bears do have some gaps to fill on the defensive side but on the heels of that nine and one team last year they expect to find their next generation of stoppers on D. We got high expectations we're we're coming together as a team this year and the last four years we've all been good so we just want to live up to what they've been doing. Byron opens the season Thursday night on the road against Winona Cotter. Well, from the Bears, know, Joe, this year won't be any different. Let's check out how the HVL will stack up this fall. The HVL has a little different look this year. The Byron Bears move over from the gold to the blue. And that's a welcome sight for those teams in the gold because the Bears have won that division four straight years. This year, the Bears return seven starters, three on offense, four on defense. Back is quarterback Bryce Fogelson, who passed for 1,900 yards and 24 touchdowns. We had a good running game. We're not going to abandon that at all because run sets up the pass. That's the way it always is. But sometimes <laughs> it sounds like he wants to pass to set up the run. Uh, I'm not really sure. He hasn't told me. He's not trying to put too much pressure on me. He's letting me go with what I need to do. So. Yeah, we, we got a lot of juniors that are anywhere between 260 and 300 pounds, and uh, we're just developing them. Uh, uh, the seniors that we have on the line are a little bit smaller and quicker, so we're basing our offense on that. But you know, who knows, as they come along, we might get back to our uh, smash mouth offense that we like to run. The Lord Eagle.